Hello, I'm Trip Dillard, president of the Council of Epiphany Lutheran Church. I'm Philip Martin, senior pastor and head of staff. And I'm Joseph Bullock, associate pastor. We have some important updates about changes to our worship protocol that we wanted to share with you today. These changes will begin Sunday, May 30. Because the governor of Virginia is lifting capacity and social distancing restrictions, we will no longer be setting an attendance capacity on our worship services. Neither the 9 o'clock a.m. service nor the 10.30 a.m. service will require signing up beforehand. We will not be marking off pews in the hopes that having full sanctuary seating available at each worship service will allow people to socially distance themselves, which we are already doing in so many other areas of life. In addition, wearing a mask will be optional at both services. However, we know that everyone is in a different place right now in regards to mask wearing. Therefore, we strongly encourage people to bring a face mask so that we can wear them during times when we are singing and before and after worship when we are visiting with one another. This will provide an extra layer of comfort and security for the younger children who are worshiping with us, as well as for others who may be unvaccinated. We will also be gradually returning to one of the methods for receiving Holy Communion, the bread and the wine. In uh, the coming weeks, we will be starting to offer the bread and the wine here at the head of the aisle, like the days uh, when we used to receive communion uh, on festival Sundays or on festival worship. Worshipers who wish to be remain seated for Holy Communion will still be able to use our temporary use individual Holy Communion packet. One main reason that we feel confident in making these changes is the results of our congregational vaccination survey, which were extremely encouraging. Almost 300 people responded to the survey, and of those who responded, 94% reported that they're already fully vaccinated, with an additional 4% who have received one shot and are preparing to get their second. And so, this brings our combined vaccination rate to about 98%. Our medical advisory team continues to stress to us that these vaccines are very strong and very effective in preventing the spread of COVID. And so we give God thanks for those who have worked to make them available and safe with record speed. We can also share with you that the ventilation system that we use in our sanctuary is built in order to remove the inside air and bring it outside and to take the outside air and move it inside whenever it is running and it will be running at our services. At its March inspection, all these air exchangers were working properly and we continue to introduce more and more singing at both Sunday services confident that this will help us be safe. Again, that singing will begin on Sunday, May 30th, and we are confident that people can come into our building, praise God together, and not worry for their safety or the safety of their loved ones. With all that being said, moving into this next phase of reemerging from the COVID pandemic, will require us to be respectful of one another and as non-judgmental as possible. Just like in other areas of life, some people may still want to wear masks while they are at church for their own sake or for the sake of their young children. Others may be grateful to be free of them. Some may want to keep personal space at a maximum, while others may feel comfortable talking and shaking hands like we used to. We think we can be a place where all are welcome and all can gather. 
This is an in-between time that we hope leads us to the fall when worship and other ministries can return in pre-pandemic form. Like so many of you, we are trying to adjust to news and information that changes on almost a weekly basis. Thank you for your support, your flexibility, and your prayers during this challenging time. It looks like there are brighter days ahead, and for that we give God thanks. We hope to see you in worship soon.